My name is Simon Kerens and I'm an auctioneer at Tattersalls. My name's Ollie Folston, I'm one of the auctioneers at Tattersalls. I've been here at Tattersalls since 1998 and been auctioneering since about 2002. I suppose simply put, I'm an uh, act between the vendor, the seller and the purchaser. So I try and make as much money as I possibly can in as quick as possible time for the vendor and for the company. I started auctioneering 22 years ago. Someone asked at the company, would I like to auctioneer? Would I be interested in it? I said I would, and I began clerking at a small cattle mart in the centre of Ireland and began auctioneering then and it proceeded from there. I came to start work at Tattersalls in 1998 and about three years into the job our, my boss asked me if I'd like to have a go and yeah, jump, jumped at the charge so I've been doing it for the last 17 years. You can tell he's bidding just through experience of where people stand. The buyers are generally the same year in year out and you get to learn where they stand and their, uh, and their little habits. The difference between book one and two, book one is very much for the elite horses, the regally bred, um, regally bred horses that stand out from a pedigree perspective and a confirmation perspective. Um, book two is probably a hybrid between that and the trainer's horse. So horses at all levels in book two that will appeal to every level of the market. The horses that tend to sell for the most have to be by the, by the right stallion and from the right um, mare's pedigree as well and then they have to look good as well, so confirmation match-up and it's a match-up of all of them which uh, make them attain the highest prices. I do practice on occasions, um, I practice in the car sometimes, I practice in the bath sometimes, I still practice, yes. What changes have I seen over the years? I suppose the speed of selling. Um, historically there was more of a methodical, antique auction type of way of selling. And Tattersalls has always been renowned for the theatrical selling. Um, so whilst it's quicker, there's still an element of theatre to it. I have noticed people having different bidding tactics. Some people like to bid quick and strong and get in very, very early. Other people like to bid at the very end when you're about to knock the hammer down. Some people like to try and dictate the pace themselves by going in smaller bids or slowing it down significantly by taking a smaller increment than what you've been taking previously. So it can slow the sale down and it allows them to dictate the pace slightly. Do I have a chant or filler line? I suppose I do. Um, the one I'm told I sell a, say a lot is I sell, I sell, I do. Um, I know there's another few as well, but they're pretty embarrassing to hear. I mean, when you use a, a line or a filler line regularly, it, um, it becomes a bit mundane if you say it too often. But I think I sell, I sell, I do is one I say, say a lot. And set me a light is another one when the horses are going into the ring. It becomes a habit, like anything it becomes a habit or, or an idiosyncrasy. Um, an idiosyncrasy is probably a bad thing, a habit is a, you know, can be a good or a bad thing. But it's, it's to fill space and it's, um, you get into the rhythm of a sale and you throw in lines and it becomes second nature when you're selling a horse. The most memorable horse probably uh, Mogul I sold last year, who was my highest price, price horse I've sold, made 3.4 million. I suppose the memorable, most memorable sale or horse I've sold is probably Marsha, which was in the December sales in 2017. 
um, she made six million guineas, which was um, a record, uh, a record price in European history. It was the highest price in European history, and she was a filly from Sir Mark Prescott's that was owned by Elite Racing, and she was a beautiful filly. And there was a bidding war between John Ga John Gosden acting for Godolphin and MV Magner of Coolmore. So MV Magner bought her for six million guineas. So that was exciting. It was fantastic to be a part of it. Six million, is it? Five million eight. Six million. Six million, well done. No, sir, there's only one thing to do, and that's to say seven million. <laughs> but at six million in the back of the gangway, at six million is the bid, but I sell her at six million in the middle of the gangway. You're out of the back wall now. One if you want back in. But at six million now, the hammer's up, make no mistake here. The great Marsha goes at six million, you're quite sure. Anyone else want to join in? But at six million, there's enough of you here anyway to form a big syndicate. But at six million, I sell in the middle of the gangway, done here at six million last time. MV Magner, the very, very best of luck. a huge thrill but even when you're selling a horse at very very small money and you surpass someone's expectations if they're looking for 800 guineas and it makes 10 and they're surprised or you know it's made their day or week that's hugely satisfying as well.